Go ahead and enter our digits into our abacus. Okay, we'll put the six, that's in the one column there. There we go, put the ones there. Six ones, there we go. Now our tens columns, we have the nine, so we'll enter that digit there. There we go. Our next digit is a what, Charlie? Seven. A seven, very nice. So we'll enter that, that's in our hundreds column. The next digit is a? Five. Five, that's right. That's in the one thousand column, we'll enter that one. Our next digit is a? Three. Three, that's in the ten thousands column. There we go, we'll enter that one there, okay? And our last digit is a what, Charlie? Seven. Is that seven? And that's in our hundred thousands column, so that'll give us that one up there. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this number to our entered number of 735,796. And that is 65,873, that's what we're gonna add, okay? So, we start in the ones column. Remember, we're on this vertical format. So, six plus three, that's an easy one, Charlie. How much is it? Nine. It's nine. Now look at our ones B over there. Obviously, we gotta move it up three, which does give us the nine, and we're gonna go ahead and record it. There it is there. So, takes care of the ones. Now we're going to the tens columns. The nine and the seven. What's nine plus seven, Charlie? Sixteen. Sixteen. Now here, we're gonna have to do what, Charlie? Carry over. That's right, we're gonna have to carry over. So how do we do this on the abacus? Well, we're gonna be dealing with our tens column over there. That's where the nine is. Now, we have to move how many more, Charlie? Seven. Seven more. Now, we start at nine. Once we move that one, the first one, we gotta carry over and there it is. Now we moved one, we gotta move how many more, Charlie? Six more. Six. There it is, in our tens column, we move six. So we have how many tens, Charlie? Six. Six, that's right. And we'll record that. Now notice, nine and seven is 16. Well, there's the six in the tens column and there's the one that we carried over. Okay, now, notice, Charlie, our hundred column already has an eight in it. Why does it have an eight? Because we carried one over. Because we carried one over. So there it is, that seven plus that one gives us the eight. Now, how many more do we have to add? Eight. Eight more, okay. Well, if we're starting at eight, once we move one, that takes us to nine, we add another one, there's our carryover. So notice we carried over the one, we move two of the required eight, so we have how many more, Charlie? Six, there we go, very nice, and there it is. And we go ahead and record our six in our hundreds column. That's very nice. Now, here we go, we're in the, which column now, Charlie? One thousand. The one thousands column. Now notice, our abacus is reading six in the uh, one thousands column because we carry that one over to the five. How many more do we have to move, Charlie? We're adding five, okay, so here we go. First we add three, we add one more, carry over, and we still got the one more to go, which gives us that one there, okay, very tricky here. But if we look at it, it makes sense. Five and five is 10, plus the one is 11, however you look at this, we'll go ahead and record our one, and so there it is. There's our one that's left over in our one thousands column. Now, if we look at our ten thousands column here, notice we have the three with the one carried over gives us that four. And we have to add how many more, Charlie? Six. Six more in that ten thousands column. So. However you look at this, we're at four, we gotta add six more. Well notice if we're at four and we move five, okay, we still got one more to do, but here comes the carryover, right? The hundred thousand column moves up one and that comes down to zero and there it is. So we've made our move of six and we're gonna go ahead and record it as a zero there because that's what's left in our ten thousands column. And finally, in our last hundred thousands column here, all we have is a seven with the one carried over, which gives us the eight, and we go ahead and record it, and there's our answer, 801,669 done on abacus, or done on this vertical format. So, let's do another one. Let's try a subtraction problem where you have to borrow.